Hey everyone! Today we are going to practice using our dark and our light pencils. And so as you can see here, we've got a simple picture. We've got a, a little squash. We were learning a lot about uh, seeds a couple weeks ago, planting seeds, pumpkin seeds, and it's harvest time. And uh, along with pumpkins, Around this time, we see squash, we see acorns, we see uh, tomatoes. And so what we're going to do is we'll, we'll, we're going to practice using our dark and our light pencils to draw and sketch a squash. And then we are going to go in and, and shade it. Practice using our dark and our light pencils and practice shading. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start off with your with uh, making a line straight across your paper that divides your foreground from your background. Remember, we learned last year, and if you didn't, if you weren't here last year, this is a, a new uh, concept for you. Uh, this right here, where your squash is sitting, is called your foreground. And then up here, we have your background. And so your foreground looks different than your background, right? I used a technique here. Does anyone remember what technique I used? Cross hatching, right? And then up here, what kinds of lines did we use? Straight lines, right? And so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and begin by dividing a line, by drawing a line straight across your paper that divides your foreground from your background. It doesn't need to be a perfect uh, line, just a line right here in the center. If you have a ruler, go ahead and use it. If not, go ahead and estimate. Uh, your line so that you have one that goes straight across. All right. So now that we've got our foreground and our background, what I want you to do is sketch your squash. So if you look here, what shape do you see in your squash? We see like an oval, right? And so what you're going to do is take your pencil and you're going to sketch an oval here. Now it's not going to be perfect. Remember, that's why we're using our light pencil. I'm just going to sketch it here. Go up. So there it is, there's our oval and our at the bottom of our squash. Now for the top part, if you notice, it curves. There's a big curvy line here and then a straighter curvy line here. So what you want to do is curve it here. Curve, curve it, and then we're going to go here to curve the top part, to draw the top part of your, your squash. And then up here we've got the top part, part of our squash. We see like a rectangle shape up here. So what you're going to do is go ahead and I'm going to actually draw like a zigzag here, zigzag line. And then we're going to go up, for the top part, okay? Now this is just a sketch. There's the shape of our squash. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and define our picture. So if you like that line, if you like your lines, you're going to go over them and almost like finalize them. 
I'll go over them like this. Okay, we have this line right here in the center. You can go ahead and erase that line. Okay, and now you are going to go back and begin to just define your lines. Okay. What you're going to do down here is you're going to begin to sketch curvy lines. So not straight lines, you're going to go curvy lines and you're going to go in the direction of the squash lines, right? So here they're going to still be light. And you're going to draw curvy lines on this side. And these lines are going to go all the way up. We're still picking up our pencil. And when you come down here, you're going to sketch lines going up. That's the bottom of our squash. So you'll go up, 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 up. One around, up, up, and around. Okay, going up, continuing to go up. And when you come up here, you're going to curve lines that go this way. Now, we, we would be tempted to just scribble here, but you want to continue to pick up your pencil because if you don't, that's what's going to show up when, when you turn in your project. You can tell when you can see scribbling in a picture, no matter what, because if that's what you're practicing in your picture, that's what'll show up. So I can tell if you are actually picking up your pencil or you're scribbling. So let's practice picking up our pencil. Okay, you're going to come down here, follow those lines, follow those lines. Follow those lines and down here. Now, if you haven't yet, what I want you to do is go ahead and switch pencils. You're going to go to your dark pencil or your, if you learned about your 4B, you can use that one. Okay, so you're going to come up here with that dark one. So you can really see. And then, and then here, you're going to go over those lines. They're like dark lines. We'll go around here. And down here. Pick it up. 
pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, now here, what we're going to do is we're going to draw, sketch curvy lines again. See how they go down. We're just going to draw curvy lines, curvy lines. And then go over this line so we could define it. Curvy and and then dark. All we're doing is we're practicing how to use those, how to use our pencils, right? And then how to use those lines that we learned about to, to draw. So these, the, the squash has these little bumps here. So we're just going to add little, little, uh, they look like stippling, but they're like little circles here just a few not too many so that's that's good like that and then you could take your pencil and you're just going to sketch like a curvy line on half of this circle and it could be on your left side so it's just, you're not going, you're not darkening up the whole circle, just half of it. Okay. Now we're going to work on the bottom. And the bottom you could, or the foreground, you could choose to use uh, curvy lines, you could choose to use straight lines, you could choose to use stippling, you could choose to use cross-hatching. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use cross-hatching since that's what I did in the example. And I'm just going to draw cross-hatching lines all the way around. And they're pretty large, right? So they're going to go all the way around, around here, around here, and here, and there. Okay? Now you could go back and you could add more in, you could fill in those spaces. So that you could really see a, a big difference between the foreground and the background. Okay? So then you could start to go over, for example, this part should be dark. So you could just go over those areas that you want to darken up. And then we're going to work on the background. So for the background, I have straight lines here in the example. So that's what I'll do down, that's what I'll do here. And I'm going to actually switch pencils because these lines are light. So I'm going to make them very, very light. Okay. All right, now if you want to darken up any other areas, you can go ahead and do that. Just remember to pick up your pencil the whole time. Okay, and then you could add any other, any other details to make it your own, okay? 
All right. Okay, see you later.